All right, are you going to do good tonight? Are you going to behave? Are you going to get us some 1360 foots? Possibly turn it up and get us a PB tonight? Is that going to happen? What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another testing video. There's one more night of testing after this and then the rest of them are kind of like weather depending. We're gonna go down and test the car tonight. We'll see what we can, you know, see what we can do tonight. We're gonna be working on first gear and then the boost and stuff is gonna be low for like second, third, and fourth. I'm not really worried about turning that up yet. I wanna get that launch down, man. We gotta get that launch down. This car, you know, all wheel drive, it's all about the launch. The back end, I've talked about it, it's easy. Just got NFT loaded up, truck and trailer. Got the generator in the back of the truck. Trailer's all loaded up. We got everything that we should need, plus a ton more. We're gonna hit the road. A two and a half hour drive down to Pueblo. Oh, things we do for race cars and testing. All right, we're here at the track. We just got the car all set up, checked in. We're in the staging lanes. We got it turned down. This first hit is just gonna be like a one-two shift. We're just working on short track here. I changed tire pressure and I made some suspension changes. So we'll see if it takes. Fingers crossed, this car launch is good. Can't say that I'm not nervous that something's gonna break. If something breaks, man, I just gotta figure out how to make it bigger, stronger, better. Hopefully we have a good 60 foot and we can keep working through the night. So uh, let's go GSD, baby. settings oh, actually we only really yeah we changed the slipper a little bit and then uh, we dropped the tire pressure because that last launch we were able to launch before the fuel pump fell off and the engine died but like the wheels were the wheels were like it had tire shake so we're hoping to uh, yeah we dropped the tire pressure so that the tires will hopefully bite more and they won't shake hopefully it still kind of drives man it's just trying to get this stuff lined out you guys it's, it's tricky tough.
reverse the CV axle. We'll see if we can get this sucker to eat. successful test <clears throat> session lower control arm issues cv axle issues like this car is just biting us man uh i think something's going on with the front sun frame something's going on with the front end we're tearing cv boots we're not really breaking cv axles so i think when we did that crazy endo it it must have twisted something maybe there's some cracks in the subframe that i can't see we can't continue to keep racing the car like this obviously it's issue after issue if that lower control arm happened to pop out when I was going full in it, like 160, it could be bad. So car's good, nothing's broke. We just gotta kind of figure out what's up with the sum frame and get that fixed. Uh, engine's good, I believe the drivetrain's good and all that type of stuff, but I'm probably gonna end up pulling the engine out, dropping the subframe, just kind of going over everything and uh, seeing, seeing what's up. So that's kind of, it's gonna be like the winter plans. So I'm gonna get antsy, I'm sure eventually, and get this out apart sooner than later but uh we gotta figure we gotta finish up uh red eagle get buckley's buckley's car going and then uh we'll turn to nft i mean plus we got the little secret street car that i gotta show you guys and i'm gonna start working on that too so anyways it's late here uh, tracks getting ready closed we still gotta swap tires and get the trailer and stuff loaded up so uh we're over a thousand subscribers we just need more watch hours you guys so like comment subscribe watch this thing put it on a continuous loop don't do that i'm just kidding but uh, I gotta go GSD, you guys go GST. Catch you guys on the next one. GST, you guys go GSD too. I caught myself, later.